interior bike just about finished up. Let's take a look at it. I'm super pumped to show the owner what it looks like when he finally sees it in person. Obviously, we have to ship the machine out to him, but this thing is looking killer. I'll give you a full rundown of what is actually done to this machine. So let me know what you think. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe and hit the bell. We're going to be doing more and more videos as we go. We have been crazy busy the last few months. We're getting to the point now where we're getting caught up. Things are, since COVID, honestly getting better. Um, but yeah, subscribe to us if you like what we're doing. If you like cool builds, you like seeing different builds. These are a couple more that we're going to be uh, doing videos on. Um, we have a couple CR250 and 500 builds coming up, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. So this machine started as a 2006 CRF450R dirt bike. Full teardown. Um, this customer is currently in the military, so we have a couple numbers on there that have uh, meaning to him. Um, he's in the U.S. Army, as you can see. He came to us with an idea of let's do a military theme bike. Um, he wanted the frame done a different color. He wanted the whole scheme to, to just represent something of what he believes in. And you can see how awesome this thing turned out. So this was a full teardown to the frame. Motor was checked over, freshened up. Everything was, was completely gone through. We always clean the cases up when we, when we do a build on a used bike. We powder coat the case covers. This bike was already in pretty good shape, so it was pretty much a tear down, inspection, freshen up, and reassembly. Some fresh powder coat. So you can see the powder coat on the frame here. You can see we actually did the billet front hub with the 10 inch wheel. We did the gold powder coating, gold on gold. That was his request. Same deal on the back. We went with the gold hubs and the gold wheels. Now this is our, our conversion swing arm that we build in house. This uses all TRX 450R rear end components. Um, you're gonna use the dirt bike linkage and shock. Here's another view. You can see the, see the spring was also removed, freshened up. Uh, we actually powder coated it to match the frame. This bike had a pretty much brand new Yoshi exhaust on it. That was a full system. So we made that work. We just did a simple mod on the midpipe, re-angled it to work with our subframe for the ATV conversion. Now, if you guys watched the first video, you saw we were using mirror plastic in the rear. Of course, we went with four works for the seat cover. Another shot of the swing arm. Billet sprocket guard. We always have TM design front block and chain guide on the back. We are gonna be making our own chain blocks pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. Razor tires, we've had great luck with these. Been running them for years. We'll zoom in here. So this is our folding foot peg. Stock pivot point. We widen these out and extend them just for the trikes. See this was powder coated too. A little bit of powder coat on the shifter. Motor mounts. Triple trees were powder coated. I think it just honestly ties it all together. I want to know what you guys think, but uh, this thing definitely looks cool. I feel like a little kid, honestly, getting to build something like this. So we tied the graphics all the way through, tried to color match these the best we could. Everything is, is as close as we can get it in terms of the ink color and the tone. This is a Husky style front number plate with the 350X front fender. We always do the fork wraps. Not only do they look cool, it stops any rocks or chips from digging up your forks. We ended up wrapping the fork guards also. We left this uh, disc cover on it. It just looks cool. It gives it the black look in the front. It does cover up the gold a little bit, but you can see it on this side. Pro Tabor handlebars, fat bar mounts. We have anti vi mounts on our triple clamps. Thumb throttle conversion on the dirt bike. If you guys want a thumb throttle on your dirt bike for any reason, um, I grew up riding with uh, quads and bikes. I have done it before. We've, we've ran them for years on dirt bikes too. Um, if you do want a thumb throttle conversion, hit us up. We've had a lot of questions about these. We set you up with a whole kit. But anyway, guys, back to the build. Um, I think it turned out awesome. I mean, let me know what you think. It really comes down to what you guys think at the end of the day. I know the owner is super pumped. He's seen pictures of it. I'm excited to see his reaction when he gets it in person. Like I said, I think he's gonna be into it for sure. Now, pictures really don't do these justice until you sit on them and ride them. It's just one of those things.
pretty much it guys this thing looks killer let me know what you think if you haven't yet please subscribe hit the bell give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing we're gonna be filling this page up with a ton more content soon we're trying to video every single build we're gonna try to do some more shop tours we're gonna honestly just put as much as we can on youtube um, we want you guys to see what we do every day from cnc machining to welding to fabrication i mean we're doing just about everything in house even powder coating this one's getting the headlight wired up putting the seat on it's pretty much out the door this one's waiting around a set of graphics and a seat cover and that's out the door so there's going to be a handful more videos coming you guys have seen a lot of these a lot of these honda videos already for the the red and black schemes um, this one was very unique very different for us just turned out super cool but again let me know what you think we uh, appreciate all your follows and your likes and everything uh, we wouldn't be here without you guys uh, all the phone calls we've been getting from all over the world and even all over the u.s of course it's uh it's pretty amazing but check out bbctrikes.com if you're interested in something like this we do conversion kits for dirt bikes for the guys that want to ride a three-wheeler we also of course offer custom builds as you can see not everybody has the time to build something like this you know whether it's a brand new bike that's a twenty thousand dollar build or something like this that's uh, quite a bit cheaper you start with a used machine either way full tear down full inspection everything gets checked out so when you get it it's pretty much new um, and if you are planning to do a conversion with a used bike just keep in mind we generally do rebuild the motors we do our best to freshen everything up as much as possible when it is a used machine again this started as a 2006 so a little different than starting with a brand new 2020 that's never been ran so it, it is what it is but uh as you can see this is an example of what you can do with a cheaper machine starting out you can go crazy do the full color color change it's unreal what they look like when they're done just check out bbctrikes.com or you can give us a call during business hours 518-563-3699 um, if you don't have time to give us a call and you just want to email late at night bbctrikes at gmail.com is the best way for that you can also check out our facebook page we do have a facebook group on there for guys that do own our products and are currently building trikes so be sure to hop on hop on facebook and check that out and uh Hope to see you there.